Hey everybody, today we are going to be reacting to something pretty special. We are going to be reacting to Death Consciousness by Have a Nice Life. Now I've heard a lot about this album. Like this album has been on my radar for a little bit. Quite a few people suggested it. I think in the slow dive video that I did a little while ago. Since people were recommending it to me on the slow dive video, I know it's going to be kind of shoegazy, but also maybe not, I don't know. This is going to be a long one though, because this album is like an hour and a half long, and I've never done an album that long. We'll see how it goes. As I've said before, if you have any suggestions or anything for stuff I should listen to, leave a comment. And, I mean, I can't get to everything, but I'll try to get to whatever I can and whatever I feel like, you know, just works for this channel. But yeah, let's just do this. I'm excited because this thing is highly praised and it's just been talked about a lot and I just don't know what to expect. So I'm really excited. The first song <laughs> is called A Quick One Before the Eternal Worm Devours Connecticut. What? <laughs> I already love this. It's been like five seconds. <laughs> oh, what the hell? It's like the guitar is slightly out of tune, but it kind of works. My god that scared the shit out of me all right that was the opener i'm gonna be honest i really loved that like <laughs> it it was one part for the entire thing but it just worked i don't know it's so pretty it's so gorgeous and just infectious as all hell i'm i truly am a sucker for things that just create an atmosphere and a vibe and this is exactly what that did and i just love that i mean if this is the direction that the album's going in i couldn't really think of a better opener <laughs> really it just set up a really really beautiful vibe yeah that was that was cool i'm a fan i'm a fan that's gonna be one to fall asleep to i'm guessing the next song is gonna be a little bit different because of how s startled i got <laughs> the next song is called blood hail <laughs>
Wow, I loved that. Man, that was good. I, I don't even, like, it just had a vibe. It had really good melodies and vocal lines. I loved the reverbed out drums. I loved the just soundscape it created. That's what's so great about like shoegaze and genres like this, just cause it's so atmospheric. And again, I'm such a sucker for it. It's just so great. I'm a really big fan of, of that one. This song had more lyrics and just <laughs> more distinguishable lyrics. From what I'm reading along with here, I think this song is kind of talking about the destruction of humanity. Because it talks about like how people's clothes are ripped and teeth are gnashed. A lot of it is just, but I just don't, I just don't accept this. We kill everyone with arrowheads. So maybe it's also talking about war here. I think that that's a super cool topic, especially with the song name being Blood Hail. Yeah, wow. Great song. Oh my god. Great fucking song. Ugh. It's already stuck in my head because it was a really memorable melody. But yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is called The Big Gloom. Eight minutes long. <laughs> a lot of long ones on here, but it's okay. I mean, I'm, I like when songs take their time. Wow. Oh man, this song is what the, wow. What, what the, the first bit of it, I was like, okay, this is really cool with the fattest bass tone I've ever heard in my life, but like, it's gonna go anywhere. And then everything came in and I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I also really like how at the end it didn't fully end if that makes sense like it had a little bit of an extra thing that kind of happened at the end i thought that was really cool lyrically this seems depressing as hell it seems like whoever is the speaker is is just talking about death sleeping in and out of an ice bath no warmth no life without it's too much my arms my legs are wood unconscious trees with roots deep in the ground will all be out so please release me yeah, God, that that's pretty heavy. <laughs> Man, wow, that, that was a song. That was a song. The only thing I will say is it took a little while for me to like fully click with it, but I did eventually click with it. Whenever I revisit with that one, I'll see if I feel the same way and if I feel like the intro grows on me a little more. But it was still really, really great and just crazy. Let's move on though. Next song is called Hunter.
like it's starting to grow a little bit. That track was insane. What the hell? Oh my god. That was 10 minutes long, and the entire time I was just locked into it. It felt so dark and like gloomy, but also very spaced out. And then when those drums hit in, like with the, just out of nowhere with a different beat, I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> That was really cool. That was an amazing track. Looking at the lyrics, I couldn't... F I wanted to see what the people over at Genius were saying, because I have Genius pulled up, just because I didn't really know for sure. In a summary, what they said this song was about was kind of about how humanity's turned on God, and also, like, atheism. <laughs> Super interesting. I, I, I can see it in the lyrics. Reading along, I can definitely see it. The reason why I was so confused originally is because I had no clue, like, what he was talking about. Because Hunter is a figure in this story. Yeah, this is dark as hell, though. And it has that just really ominous sound to it. it it's really, it's sort of creepy at some parts. But really, really cool. Really great track. That's ins it was insane. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely impressing me so far. <laughs> The next song is not 10 minutes long. It's called Telephony. I can't get over how cool those drums sound with all these songs. I think compared to the other songs, that song was alright. It wasn't my favorite, I definitely liked it still, and with the context of the album, it sounds really cool. But just out of, just compared to the other songs I've heard so far that have been so grand and like crazy and long and atmospheric, like that one kept the vibe going, but it didn't really do anything super unique. Still overall a good song though. Lyrically, I'm a 
bit more confused on this one as well. If science is half the man it says it is, then I can build it. The machine that snaps all of time in half? You're trying to build a, I don't know, trying to build a time machine or something? You can build a door, I can travel through, they do it with telephony. You don't see it much anymore, but surely I, if I could just hear your voice. Maybe that is what it is. It's really random, but kinda cool. It definitely continues this darker, like, weirder theme that's going on. But yeah, overall, it was an alright song compared to the other ones. But it's okay. It may grow on me. I'll give another listen later. The next track is Who Would Leave Their Son Out in the Sun? <laughs> So this is so druggy. Like, so druggy. This is another song I can fall asleep to. sleepy mood <laughs> it's not that's not a bad thing though like when I say sleepy I think that it's a good thing because I like songs that can make you just relaxed this song was super druggy kind of quiet again but that's okay very slow but also like hypnotizing I was just kind of closing my eyes and just getting lost in the sound of it because it was pretty simplistic with its sound just like had these really reverbed out guitars and vocals too but it was cool in that sense. I think I appreciate this song more than the last one. There's definitely themes of religion with this one. Everyone spends some time on the cross, so I just want to make sure it's not a total loss. Huh. I mean, through the song, I cannot hear a single thing he was saying, but I think the... I think overall I'm kind of okay with that. I really like the line, what point is there in pushing on when you, all you push against is a brick wall? I think that's pretty smart, lyrically. Yeah, I mean, I... The overarching theme of the song, I can tell, is just about religion, but I don't really know exactly what he's talking about that's connected to it. Maybe it's like denying him to heaven or something like that. That could be it. I think that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I, I think I appreciated that song more, for sure. Even though it wasn't the most mind-blowing thing on here, you, you know, so far. I think that it did a good job at keeping a vibe and a soundscape. Next song is called There Is No Food. I could see this kind of tying along with some of the other themes of the album, just from the title. Okay, I actually like that one quite a bit. Very, this album got really chill all of a sudden. I don't know what happened, but I'm, I mean, I'm okay with it. I like that actually, I like that quite a bit. I think that it just had a very, again, atmospheric sort of thing. I thought it was really cool how like barely in the back you could hear these screams and like yells. I thought that was super interesting. It had this very like intense guitar at the beginning, but it kind of, 
I kind of got used to it, and then it kind of just mellowed out for me. I don't know. I think that since there isn't any lyrics to this song, really, I think that There Is No Food is just kind of talking, or just mentioning the theme, you know? But yeah, that was pretty cool. I actually like that a lot more than I originally thought I would just at the start. Next up is Waiting for Black Metal Records to Come in the Mail. <laughs> what? <laughs> accidentally hit an ad on my keyboard <laughs> holy fuck that was so awesome oh my god oh my god <laughs> i think that was my favorite so far maybe there was a couple other good ones earlier in the track list for sure but oh my god that was so good oh that got me hyped up like crazy I didn't expect that because the beginning was like super ambient and then it just kicked in out of nowhere. Oh my god, that was so fucking cool. When it, that, that fake out at the end, I, I was not expecting that and it kicked in and I was like, yo! <laughs> Man, that was so cool. Especially that ending blew me away. That was awesome. And the screaming in the background, like, ugh. I feel like this song is talking about how humanity is so blind to a lot of things. You drop that pitch black pall over us one and all again to propel your national machines, giving us all the disease but not the vaccine. That is a sick line. I would give anything for a cool glass of water without this poisonous oil. Yeah, I think that's what this track is talking about. Just like how society is blind to a lot of things. This is just like an anti a lot of things song. The song feels like a protest to a lot of those things, especially with the energy. Man, ah, oh God, I can't get over that. That was so cool. That, oh man, that's gonna be one that I come back to for sure. Like that just pumped me the hell up. The next track's name sounds like what I just experienced. It's called Holy Fucking Shit 40,000. <laughs> With a name like that, I'm hoping that it has the same energy as the last track. If it doesn't, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it does. I don't know.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm tearing up pretty bad right now. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Pun intended. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Give me a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my god, that was incredible. Easily my favorite on the album, holy shit. Oh, where do I even, where do I even start with that song? That, the progression of that song was insane. I love how in the beginning it was just more melodic and more of like a normal structure for a song. It had such an impactful melody and just chorus and just, and then where the ending where everything kicked in and the drums came in and it just, this burst of sound, like, and then it faded out and then it was just the guitar. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. What, what, like, uh, <laughs> it made me cry. <laughs> Jeez. And I've replaced my heart with metal parts, and I'm working out just fine, but I just can't get to, to start. We're machines that breathe and weep and look really cool. Train to kill. This, this really felt like the magnum opus of this album so far. And lyrically, it kind of seems like he's talking about how our lives are just planned out for us, and that we don't really have a choice in the matter even though we think we do. Oh my god, that was so good. Let's just keep going. The next song is called The Future. I don't even, how do I move on after that? Oh my God, just, The Future, that's the next song. <laughs> This album is overwhelmingly good. I am just sitting here with my jaw dropped and my, uh, just my mind blown. That was an instrumental, but it just, it just fits so well after a song like, holy fucking shit, 40,000. <laughs> it just fits, you know? It just, it feels so appropriate. I think it was a great follow-up song just to that. I think it's perfect in that way. It didn't do anything absolutely insane, but did it need to? Did it really need to? I think it was great for what it was. I was really feeling it. It was really cool. Next song is called Deep Deep. <laughs> This is so good. 
god. <sighs> the the first half of this album was really good. I like I really liked it, but the second half of this album is blowing me the fuck away. Jeez. The energy to that song, the production, the the melody, just the driviness, it's just it's so great. Oh my god. This one might be talking about love as a whole and its relations to religion, maybe? This is a cool line right here. All water on earth evaporates into steam and erupts from the ground. Does anyone else feel guilty like I did it all myself? That's that's a really cool line, just in itself. Huh. I can see the themes. I can see it. I just, I don't have it all locked together perfectly, but I mean, even then, it's really cool in itself and the sound of the song made up for everything it, that could have not been okay. Like, <laughs> And I still really like the theme here, and I want to revisit it for sure. God damn, I'm loving this. This is so good. We have two more songs. The second half here is really grabbing me. I love it. Next song is called I Don't Love. Damn. with the second half. Oh my god. Despite the fact that it actually scared the shit out of me <laughs> with that first part, I just got so goddamn lost in that. I got so lost in the sound of that. That wall of noise. Oh my god. Oh my god. This one totally hit harder emotionally too. This is really depressing as well, but man, it's just... I mean, the lyrics are, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live at all. I don't want to make this face anymore, but if I don't, that's all. I don't love, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything where the lo this love should be. That's like the whole song. But man, oh my god. It's so, it's so sad, but man, that song just... It had a nostalgic feeling to it for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. One of the last song. It's the longest song on the album. It's called Earth Mover. I am so excited to see how this thing closes. Oh my god. This has been a, such an experience. Earth Mover, final song. Let's do it.
God. How? <laughs> How do I like? just move on to the next album. Like, that was fucking insane. That was Death Consciousness. What a fucking album. What the hell? Earth Mover, um, I literally think that the lyrics of this song are like the destruction of Earth, or like the destruction of humanity. That is insane. The sound of that song perfectly represents that. What do I even, how do I, how do I, how do I even explain that song? That song was actually insane. That is, one of the most mind-blowing things I've ever heard. And that's saying a lot, considering the amount of music I listen to regularly. <laughs>
Okay, the whole album, um, wow, I, okay, I'm gonna say this right now, if the second half of this album was its own album, it would be a 10, straight up, it would be a 10. I need to go back and look at that first part of the album before I can say that this is a 10 though. I am floored in every single conceivable way, I think that this is an insane experience. I think the lyrics tie in together with everything so well and the themes are just so unique and this album's super depressing at the same time, but it's also kind of, it makes you, it kind of makes you just look around a little bit, if that makes sense. That's why I'm just so in awe with a, a lot of these tracks. The first and second half are two completely different albums. Both of them are incredible. The soundscapes, the production, the performances, the everything, I just, I don't even know. I don't. This is an insane experience. An hour and 20, what, seven minutes? 24 minutes. I need some time with this one. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to come to a conclusion after hearing all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and give my final thoughts. For you, it'll be like three seconds. For me, it may be a week, two weeks, a month, I don't know. This is gonna take a while to edit. <laughs> but man, oh man, I don't even... <laughs> Peace out for now. I'll give my final thoughts whenever that may happen. I'm speechless. It's been a bit since that original clip. I love this album so much. It is so good. Giving it more listens, I just, I'm loving it more and more. I think as a complete experience, it's so crazy, but it also all flows really well, even though the first and second half of the album are like completely different. My favorite songs are Deep Deep. I love that, it's so good. It's probably one of my favorites. Like top three, maybe. I love Earth Mover, of course. I love I Don't Love, even though it's depressing as hell. It's just a really satisfying song, sonically. Waiting for Black Metal Records to come in the mail. That's also another really good one. I love Hunter. Oh, holy fucking shit, 40,000. I mean, that song is another one of my favorites, an easy favorite. Out of all of them, I don't know which one is my absolute favorite because they're all really, really good, but yeah. What I really like about this album is that it's more than just a shoegaze album. I think that it's kind of put into the genre of shoegaze, but it feels way more than that because it bounces around all these genres and styles. And it's so cool and I just love that. But what's crazy is that at the same time, it keeps a consistent experience sonically and it's really satisfying from song to song and just it, it all flows super duper well. I've been giving it a lot of thought just re-listening to it and just thinking about it. But I do think that this album is a 10. I overall think that I don't really have any problems with it. I know that in the original video I did, but coming back to it and just listening to it all in succession and hearing everything all together as a full experience, it's, I think, perfect, really. I, I mean, it all just works, and the concepts and themes all just, they're all so interesting, and it just all has this certain dark tone to it, and it's just great. Lyrically, I think that this album is also talking about, you know, a lot of religious stuff, a lot of the stuff about the fall of humanity, um, just depression in general. I mean, it's not a happy album, <laughs> but it all just connects. All the lyrical tones th across all of the songs just connect. But yeah, I think it's a 10. I don't really have a problem. I'm, I'm loving this thing so much. But yeah, this thing is amazing, and I... I'm so glad you guys recommended it to me, because holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. This one took forever to edit, and I really appreciate it if you, uh, I don't know, just commented and maybe gave it a like, you know. I, I really like seeing all the comments and all the recommendations, because it, it's just, it's nice to see, and I like talking with people. I like discussion about albums and music in general, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.